back up and I'm here with you at table side in London, England. And we start in the middleweight division with the general. Hendrik Nentjes hails from Urk in the Netherlands. Standing six feet tall, he weighs 89 kilograms. And he is the Dutch national number three. His opponent is the magician. Matt Preston hails from Milton Keynes, England. In his second appearance in the Super Series, this man stands six feet tall, weighing 90 kilograms. He is the former world junior and multiple British silver medalist. Before we get things underway, let's have a little look at some of the important rules of the sport. The athletes have one minute to get a fair grip. Their elbows must remain on the 7x7 seven seven elbow pad throughout the round. The referee can award a running foul during the match, which is a little bit like playing an advantage in soccer. And an athlete on a running foul must win the pin in order to get the restart. Two consecutive fouls by any athlete loses them the round. The man with the most perfect hair in the world of arm wrestling is arguably the general. Hendrik Nedges, massively experienced in the Arm War Super Series. His opponent is on home ground. The magician, Matt Preston. Has a real history in the sport of arm wrestling. Started as a talented junior. He's traversed the weight classes. Ready, go! Now finding some of his best form. This could be a war. Matt Preston. Quick out of the blocks, Hendrik Nentjes, he's anything but fast, ah, has a lot of ability. He's gonna need to turn up a little bit on that speed though to get a hang on Matt Preston. Because unless he hangs him up off the start, he's gonna be driven to the pad. And Matt Preston, as you can see in the replay, quick out of the blocks. Because he's gonna go there again, he's gonna wanna try and rotate round on you. All right. But if he slips, I'll beat him again. Flat palm. Run the dog. Maynard Nentjes advising his brother that he needs to get a hang in this match. He needs to hang up the match and make it a war. Nentjes' answer to that is to drop it. He dropped the wrist, drove underneath, he gets the strap and the side pressure is going to come hard here now. Needs to hang Preston up in the centre, it does so! That's what the general needed! He's hooked it hard to the side, lost wrist and hand control and Preston is shaking to try and regain his shape, recover his position. But the bump to the side is not going to work. Needs a combination of side pressure and up and high back pressure. Oh, transition there from the general. Then Jez will try and squeak around and engage the triceps. Starts to gather in now as Matt Preston feels him loosen. He applies his own back pressure. Here comes the try drive. And the general is on the offensive. Tights again and finishes. Wow. What a battle in the second round. That was a war. Look at it on the replay. Hendrik Nedges, the man in the blue shirt, was looking to hang up the Englishman and he did so off the start. Didn't have the speed without the strap. Once he could put the brakes on, it was a war. It is good, so as you do, not the clubbergier, and only fast hand. But as you draw the clubbergier's curve in the wheel. Don't give him the opportunity to bust his wrist and slip for it. All right? Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Matt Preston in the red shirt will look for that speed off the start. He's to gain hand and wrist control. Did so then, but frustrated. Hendrik Nedjes bails underneath, goes on the try press, wants to hang up the match. Big drive from Matt Preston. He's got much better hand and wrist control from there. And Hendrik Nedjes is in trouble. He's nowhere near engaged that tricep, and Preston has gone to a resting spot. Nedjes is hanging on bravely, but thinks better of it. And it's two for Preston. The experience of Hendrik Nedjes kicking in there. He's had a little bit of a test squeeze to see if he could get any separation between the shoulder and wrist of Matt Preston. But when he saw the Englishman was resting off, the general let go. That's the arm, too. It's all right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll resetting the strap helps yeah. a bit there. But you've, yeah. got to, you've got to make sure you're back on that tricep. When I try to get finger to the down, that there is a spooling to the left. The rules of the match are written. Ned just needs to get a hang early. He needs to hang up this match. Or he will be put to the sword because Matt Preston is far too fast out of the blocks. And he's gaining wrist and hand control every time. But he needs to finish early in the strap because any kind of purchase and that's much better from the general. Then Jez has hung it up again and it's a war in the centre of the table. Now what has Matt Preston learned since last time, if anything? Gathers himself better. Trying to tighten and gain wrist and hand control. Then Jez is squeezing around, trying to come around again and engage that tricep. He'll use the back and the side at the same time. Little push from Preston, but it works against him. It's 2-2 and this is a battle of styles in the most entertaining of fashions. Fantastic goal. Matt Preston tried to recover his wrist and hand. He pushed forward, but he didn't pay off. And he just fed into the tricep press of the general. Mark, to I am up fucking. I built the ground. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to do The Dutchman is back in the match 2 2. Matt Preston will want to get the bullets out now and make them hit the target. Preston is revved up. He's looking for that fast start. Big drive. Keynes hand and wrist control. We slip again. That will frustrate the man from Milton Keynes. Explosive pull of Matt Preston. A lot of ability in that top roll. Keep it there. Ready, go! Big drive, and that's the best of the magician. Matt Preston, far, far better hit. Adjusted his angle, went more to the side, and finishes the match, and he enjoyed that one. Exactly the same. He's going to slip. He's going to slip. <coughs> Come on. Don't, don't let him go. Don't exactly go outside the same same last time. time. It's high. Nee, maar dan net als je als je kan deze kan stonden, nee, ik hem toch wel goed. Ja, maar omdat je mezelf duw voelt. Has Matt Preston learned the way through the general? Rotate, rotate, rotate. Ned Jez will change. Take your wrist out. Try to drop under him again, forcing the shoulder in. No chance to hang on to that. Just slipping. He's slipping to the frustrated Matt Preston, but tell Richard Poole something he didn't know. No rule against that. Here comes the hang, and it's a much better hit from. Super committed, Hendrik Dentjes. He couldn't have dived at that any harder. Unbelievable walk. And Matt Preston has marginally better hand and wrist position. He needs to tighten. It's a higher match than it was in previous occasions, but he's lost the wrist and hand. Oh, running foul from Dentjes. Talk about a get out of jail, jail free card for the magician. Must make it count now. Dentjes is so committed again. Driven sideways. Oh, Matt Preston as he hit him, lost his own wrist and hand. And then Jez is diving on the arm. Matt Preston shaking his entire lower body. He's quivering. He tries to gain position, shakes his head as Nosferatu tries to instruct him. He's shaking again, and in comes the high press. It's Hendry 